In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Honey Gain on a Hive OS rig to earn some extra passive income. Honey Gain is a passive income app that you can run on a phone, you can run it on Windows, Mac OS, and you can also run it on Linux via Docker. I've been running Honey Gain for, for over a year now, I would say. And it's actually been quite nice. Uh, in the beginning, you could get paid out in PayPal and Bitcoin. Uh, they have since put a hold on Bitcoin uh, as a result of kind of the volatility in the market. And so right now, you can get payouts in PayPal, but you they've also added Jump Token, which is on the Binance Smart Chain. And what's real nice with that is they give you a bonus and you can cash out and you can do a direct swap and pancake swap to BNB, which is what I am personally doing. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Honeygain up and running on a Hive OS rig. And this will allow you to share your unused bandwidth. And it may not share a whole lot, but if we just hop on over to my dashboard, what I have here is you can kind of see what's going on here. And if we scroll down, you can see kind of my average earnings. Um, you can kind of ignore this massive spike. I actually threw my mobile phone on it for a couple days just to see how the mobile app would do. But if you take a look at my earnings, uh, here you can kind of see what the average is per day, which is anywhere between, so 193 points is actually 19 cents. So you're looking at 19 cents, 12 cents, 13 cents, you can kind of see, and then 31 cents. And then after I added my mobile device, I was up to 41 cents, averaging around 40 cents for the past day. And so if we take a look at the earnings, or rather the data, and this is for the past 30 days, we've shared just over 17 gigs over the past 30 days. So the data uses isn't substantial. However, a lot of us just have mining rigs that aren't consuming much bandwidth, and we're able to kind of allocate that unused bandwidth without any type of heavy processor usage. And here's kind of the breakdown. Uh, I did try it on my iPhone. The problem with the iPhone is it has to always be running in the foreground, and it didn't seem to be using that much data. Uh, when I took a Android device and I put my iPhone in hotspot mode and I connected that Android device to my iPhone, you can see it actually did share 1.83 gigabytes. And this was kind of over the course of a couple days, probably four days or so. And then this is my node that I run within HiveOS. And I'm running honey gain on that and you can see over the past 14 days it has shared 16 gigabytes of data which has equated to four dollars and 77 cents now this does not include the bonus so we scroll to the top you can see you have the option to do honey gain or you have the option to do jump task and so if i do jump task which is what i personally do and we head on over to the jump task dashboard you can see I've earned $5. I cashed this out at the end of the month. So November, I don't remember the exact day, but I cashed it out, uh, I think on December 1st. So we're kind of looking at 15 days of earnings right now. It is December 15th, 7.42 p.m. Central Time. And we've earned $5 so far this month. We're about halfway through the month. So we'll be kind of on par to make $10 and the nice thing with this is you, in real time, your earnings are translating to the jump token on the Binance Smart Chain. So if that price goes up, when you go to cash out, you're actually cashing out in the cryptocurrency, not the US dollar representation. And you can cash this out as much as you want. Do know that there is a gas fee and the gas fee is not paid on the Binance Smart Chain by you directly, but instead it is uh, reduced out of your jumped balance. 
So here you can see the jump token gas fee equivalent is going to be uh, just under 0 0.04 jump tokens. And just keep that in mind when you cash out. There will be that. And there are other ways to earn jump tokens as well. And you can stake from here if you choose to stake. I've never done staking, but I know a lot of people that have staked the jump token. And kind of here you can see on November 20th is kind of when I switched from regular honey gain over to getting the bonus. And this kind of gives you an idea of what I've been averaging. Uh, I was averaging around 0.1 to 0.15 jump a day. And then once I threw that second device on, I jumped up to 0.19. One thing uh, to be aware, you can only run this on one device per IP address for your account. So uh, don't think you can just run this on each of your HiveOS rigs and you know multiply these earnings. You can only run one per IP. Uh, if you try to run more, It'll give you an over usage warning and you risk having your account suspended. In addition, it just won't share any data. Uh, there will be an affiliate link down in the description below. If you click that, you will get a uh, free $5 to start with. And then I will also earn, I think like a 10% commission, uh, but that will get you jump started with uh, $5, which is really nice. Uh, feel free to use that, it's in the description below. Or if you don't wanna use the affiliate referral, it's perfectly fine. You can just head over to honeygain.com and sign up for your account over there. Now, I've had my account for a really long time, and so uh, they've added some sign up options recently. You can use a Google account to sign up, uh, or you can just use a email and password. Once you're signed up, I recommend the email and password route. It's just easier that way. Uh, then we can, you'll want to have your account. Go ahead and sign up for that first. You'll head on over to this URL. And here you can see, it's going to tell you you'll get a $5 gift when you register. You can just do your register and you can sign up. Uh, it'll pre-populate my referral code. And then you can sign up with an email or password or just uh, Google or you can do Facebook. Again, I recommend email and password. It's easier that way. And then once you're signed up, we're going to head on over and choose the rig that we want to run it on. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use my VM host rig. I'm going to connect with Shell in a box. However, you can use pretty much any SSH tool for this. Uh, there's only a couple commands to run. So there's really not a whole lot of copy and paste thing we need to do. So I'm just going to use shell in a box. We're going to log in. And then first thing we're going to do, we're going to have to run it. Well, first thing we want to see if Docker is installed. If it's not, then we got to run apt update dash y. Oops. And we're going to also run um, apt install docker.io. This is going to update the packages and then it's going to install the latest package for Docker and get that platform up and running on our HiveOS rig. And this will allow us to run containers. Once this prompts, just hit yes. Make sure you run disk expand first if you haven't already. Uh, that just allows you a little bit extra buffer. Uh, the Docker image is really small. The install is relatively small. You would probably be fine without disk expand, but it's always safer to run this expand when you're adding uh, more utilities to a base HiveOS image. And once that's installed, we can run Docker PS. And we can see Docker's running. There's no containers running. So now we need to install the Honeygain Docker image. So to do that, it's very basic. There's no ports that need to be mapped or forwarded in your router. There's no volumes you need to map. It's truly a basic bandwidth sharing container. So all we need to do is we're going to do a docker run dash d to run it detached. And we're going to do a restart always. So if it crashes, it'll restart itself. We're going to name it Honeygain. 
And then we need to do honey gain slash honey gain. That's the image name. And then we need to give it a couple arguments. So the first one is tou hyphen accept. This is going to accept the terms of use from a command line perspective. And then we need to do dash email. This is where you need to specify your email address that you signed up with. Then dash pass. This is where you need to specify the password you used when you signed up with. This is why I recommend not using Google or Facebook and just using email and then some password. And then the last argument we need to do is dash device and we need to give this some type of device name. So for me, I'm just going to do vm underscore host. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my email and password. We're going to hit enter. We're going to run it and make sure it's up and running. It's going to download the images, which may take a minute or two. And then it should output a long GUID string. That basically just means the container started, and this is the ID of the container. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check and make sure it's running. To validate, all we're going to do is we're just going to do a docker ps. And here we can see it's been up for 15 seconds, so it's up and running. Next thing we can do to validate is we can do doc, oops, we can do docker logs honey gain, which was the name we gave the container. And here we can see uh, terms of use accepted, authorization successful, the honey gain service is up and running and it's connected. And so now if we head on over to our honey gain dashboard and we're going to give this a refresh and so here we can see it is connected and it's essentially just waiting on data it should it'll start sharing data here we'll start earning off of it and we just kind of let that thing run in the background and because we set it to restart always anytime you reboot your system your hive os rig it's going to auto start itself back up and then you can just kind of let it sit there and earn passively in the background and then whenever you the other thing you may want to do is by default when you set up your account it's going to be on the honey game wallet you can leave it this way if you want um, and then cash out via paypal or you can toggle this at the top the honey gain and jump task and if you send it to jump task you get a 10 percent bonus on all of your earnings and it happens essentially bite by bite. So as if we take a look here at my earnings, what you'll see is that I had, you know, $5.22 in earnings and 47 cents in that bonus. So while not substantial, it is uh, nice to have that. It's definitely gonna cover your gas fees for using the Binance Smart Chain. And then uh, pretty much you can let that accrue. And then on the jump task, you can just hit jump task dashboard, hop on over here. It's gonna ask you to connect to MetaMask. And then what you can do is once you have everything connected up, you can hit withdraw. And here basically is gonna tell you about the gas fee, right? And then you can say transfer. If we click withdraw and confirm that transfer, what we'll see is we will see that hit our wallet pretty much any second. Uh, as soon as it gets confirmed, you don't need to, because you are essentially receiving from a different platform and you're really not sending, this isn't really true DeFi, you don't have to confirm anything in MetaMask, right? So that pop-up you get, that's kind of your last confirmation. It's going to hit your wallet. So if we give this a refresh now, we can see it sent it. The gas fee was 0 0.03109. I see it hitting my wallet. Uh, it looks like the gas fee was around $0.08. Cents. So we received $4.92 in the wallet. If I hit view details here, uh, we can see that transaction fee was $0.07. Cents. So that's right on par with what I see being removed. And here we can see it was 
uh, jump at, at four dollars and ninety three cents, which is what I see reflected. And now, if we wanted to swap this out for some BNB, let's say, we can do that with Pancake Swap. So we're just going to jump on over to PancakeSwap.finance, connect our wallet up, connect MetaMask real quick. And this is actually tied to my ledger. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that. So if we do trade, we do swap. And I want to swap. Uh, let's see if it looks like jumps not in here. So let's do manage tokens. Uh, jump's not in there, so we're going to do import. Yep. Import. And now we can see we have our jump. If I want to convert that to BNB, and I do max, right, we can see we're going to receive $4.91 in BNB, which is only losing one cent, which is perfect. So that's what I'm personally going to do. I'm going to swap this thing into BNB. We're going to go ahead and do a swap. And we're oh, go ahead and accept the price change. We're currently at point. Uh, let's see. We are currently at 0.49 BNB. I'm going to go ahead and confirm the swap. Okay, the transaction has been confirmed. And we can see our balance in BNB is now 0.50. So perfect. So the swap completed successfully. And then you can do whatever you want with the BNB on your ledger. Uh, you could have swapped to anything. Uh, I personally uh, am trying to uh, I'm trying to stack some BNB. So for me. That's what I went with. However, you can pretty much do anything, any token that's on the Binance Smart Chain. You can always bridge over to other platforms if you see fit. But that's it for this video. I wanted to show you how to get Honeygain up and running on HiveOS. Uh, as a reminder, affiliate link down in the description below. If you use that, you get a free $5 whenever you sign up. And uh, just kind of wanted to show you how to get that set up and running and also how to cash it out if you choose to go the jump token route. Thank you for watching.